last night's shenanigans that y'all were putting down kind of took some of the shine away from the fact that Brick Baby that? converted to a Hoover side. Dump. You Whoa. see the orange hat. You what? see the orange Jordans. Oh. He's switched sides. Oh. He's getting his Snoopy bag. Hey, so how do you feel about let's that? Let's start up? there. Check. Hey, 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 hey. How do you feel about that, Adam? How do I feel? Switched yeah. up on No Jumper and switched up on the Crips. He's Damn, <laughs> Damn, bro. Hey, oh, this I thought I knew it. I knew it. Was it worth it, Doug? Jesus Christ. Was it worth it? Was it groovy? It, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> it was worth it. We we set records last night. You, know you did. I mean? oh, oh, that oh. was the most mind-blowing thing to me is that <laughs> Bag on Fig has been averaging around like 3,000, maybe 4,000 viewers live. Brick Baby comes through, boom, they skyrocket to 10K, which honestly, short term W for them for sure. Peak Long term L because of the fact that it's so obvious that they're they have this big potential audience there at any given time, but that audience for the most part only chooses to activate themselves when there's something that happening that contributes to the no jumper lore, mm-hmm. aka the reunion, aka having Brick Baby come through. That is kind of mind blowing to me to just realize that like their fan base that has been fleeing the building in recent months mm. is actually still down to fuck with them. It just has to relate to no jumper. No jumper. So now you understand like pretty much everything yeah. that they would do. You take no that? jumper. Would you would you would you partner with them? No. I don't think that would make sense. You're trying to piece it up? You're trying to bridge it up? Nah. <laughs> no, he said no. But that, that okay. It I, smokes forever. <laughs> it smokes forever. I know it didn't get that spicy because they didn't really, like, there was, like, almost no clips that made its way to the Reddit, so I'm going to assume that, like, we weren't discussed that much in terms of the No Jumper nah. thing. But I will say, somebody sent me a clip of t Rail saying to you, come home, come home, which I realize must be like a very attractive proposal to you to go work for free for someone who has <laughs> like a, a fucking studio in the back of a woman's clothing warehouse. But I mean, that's just like the, the level of hubris available to him there is kind of mind blowing. Like, oh, you should come work for me for free. What the fuck are we talking about? Anyway, I mean, I, that's <laughs> the only he, thing I saw. So did, that's the only thing I can comment he on. Said, he told me to come home. It obviously was a joke. Yeah, you know what I mean, I mean, um, there's truth in every joke. But was it Listen, weird for you to even be around? The was it weird to be around the Smack? Details. Nah, it wasn't weird. All right, so me, me and Smack been WWF for like the last three months. Uh huh. It's all been fake. What? For real? Yeah. So you, oh, you, oh, you lying? <laughs> you lying? No, man. I mean, they never really got that extreme with it. So he got drunk, and that's what I like. As soon as the stream come on, T. Real like, nigga. So what happened, nigga? When you was on live, he got straight to it. And I'm like, yeah, what happened? Like, nigga, how you get to the fingers? Like, but I had talked to him before that, and he like, I know the conversation was pertaining to you, but I was talking to the homies and I just was chunking the hood up. But I done did that shit too. Yeah, yeah, to yeah. This, like, me and, me and right Nitty, me and Nitty, uh, baby Nitty. I don't know, though. Like, when Swag was pointing the gun at the camera and being all mad saying that you were talking about him smoking Sherm, that felt kind of real. Yeah. He said, he said, that's where you had me at. He said, you had yeah, me Yeah, okay. He said, but the, the, where you really had me at was when you said I had, I mean, when the dude with the knife came inside my house that I couldn't get up and use my shirt and that. He said, you start playing with your leg. But at the end of the day, I guess he said that he was drunk or whatever the case is. He did make it right and say that he didn't mean nothing towards us because his cousins and how we been cool. And then my cousins, we all got mutuals. Yeah, we already figured that out. Yeah. We all was on the phone that day. And yeah. he's like, what's up, nigga? I'm like, we gonna keep it going. <laughs> <laughs> right. yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? You know, I'm bullshit. So all the smack shit just was fake. So I would love like, to smoke Sherm with Smack. What? Like, I feel like that would be smack cool. Smack smoked Sherm before. Like, I'm give on, I, told, I told him. He like, he like, I sold it before. Nigga. I ain't never <laughs> yeah. he like, I, I did powder and ecstasy. I told everybody. I'm like, yeah, it just did. But is him saying that he's never done Sherm like you saying you never snorted coke? Yeah, like that one time. That's a cap. Yeah. I don't know, man. Like, you like getting fucked up so much that I just feel like you probably had some powder. I've never, I told you. Let's change that in the next few hours. No. (laughs) (laughs) No. Man. Okay, so, well, like. It's going to happen. It's going to happen soon. The recent months to come, somebody sold me some Molly that I thought was Molly, and it was like numb my. 
And none like, of your shit? Look, yeah, I'm like, oh, that's coke. He's like, oh, mm-hmm. I gave you the wrong bag. I'm like, yeah, the fuck? Like, I know you did. I'm smelling. I'm like, this shit smell like fish kill. Yeah. Did, yeah. You do it? did you do it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't snort it. You ate it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. You injected it. My whole it. mouth was oh, Yeah, he was on a... On a sneak one. <laughs> that shit was crazy. You should have went. I was like, what the fuck? Because I That's ate like at least pussy. like a point two. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you was feeling great. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, what but, all right, I also want to answer to this because there's a, a, a popular narrative saying that Adam 22 should be or is secretly mad at you. Flacco, I guess, for going on back on fig. DW stopped by uh, Ace Boys the other day with a blower sticking out of his basketball shorts. Um, I just want to say, I've never, I've never told you not to do that. For the record, I never Never. told Flacco not to do that. So everybody out here making assumptions that I wouldn't want y'all to do that. I actually think you going on there is probably like net positive for the views of anything that you do on this platform. Yeah. Exactly. If anything, you got a whole bunch of religious zealots over there that actually think that T-Rail's a good person who are actually maybe realizing like, oh, this is what a real one looks like. So I am encouraging the fans to have that epiphany and come roll with the winners, roll with the hoodsters, if you will. Because, you know, over there, there has been some questionable behavior. You know, they completely censored their own Reddit. There's been a mass evacuation to the No Jumper Reddit. So we're kind of like housing a whole shitload of refugees now, a bunch of yeah. back on fig refugee no, fans. We're not like Joel Olstein. No, <laughs> yes, you are all welcome into this church. Yeah. No, yeah. totally. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, there, there's been a lot of common comments. Uh, commentary about you know the refugee crisis and No Jumper is doing our best to help out with that if only in the Reddit sense. Yeah, but. and jeez on, Louise. Honestly, though, at, at the end of the day, um, I, you've never even said to me. And I feel like I'm under much more scrutiny due to my previous tenure and the way that it ended. Like, I kind of have to be on my P's and Q's more than the average No Jumper employee. Got to show up a little bit earlier. Got to, you feel me, just got to push my line a little harder (laughs) to let it be known what time and I'm on. With that being said, you never even have discouraged me from going to other platforms. Yeah, what the fuck do I care? I mean, it, 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 I mean, it, it does help turn their platform up in the short term. Which, you know, it is what it is, but really, like, what the fuck do I care? <laughs> yeah, bro, we gave. What no, we, is it at? No, we I gave, don't mean bro. to ruin the podcast. No, you're, you're, go you're good. You're yeah, good. Hey, do you see that? Bad podcasting. We're doing? talking and you start fucking talking while I'm talking, oh. but, but you start going. There's so much of that on this fucking podcast, on the news, et cetera. You'll hear there'll be two people having like a good conversation and then somebody be like, yo. You got loose leaf. <laughs> you got back one. You got some weed. Hey, I don't you got lighter. I'm it's traumatized like, from the last podcast we had. Right. The first You're one. not oh. traumatized enough because you yeah. just fucking did it. Bro, Custer. Yeah. Oh, hold on. Yeah. Custer activity. <laughs>